Hey everyone, FPS Chazla here, and today we're going to be going over Torpedo Evasion. Uh, this is going to be a very basic Torpedo Evasion video, uh, but on that front, am I going to make a very advanced one? Maybe. I don't know. The problem with Torpedo Evasion is that it's very situation dependent, so I'm just going to try and give you some basic guidelines here that you can hopefully apply in a multitude of situations. So today we're going to be looking at active torps from both the sea and the air or maybe more commonly evading snakes from long range versus circle search torps from short range. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. So let's get started with active torps C, snake long range. First off, let me just say, I apologize if the colors are not what I say they are, I'm colorblind, but bear with me. The fact that you can tell the colors are different is all that matters. Alrighty, so this is situation number one I'm talking about, and this is probably one of your most common situations. So, you got an enemy torp coming your way, and it's doing snake. It's doing snake coming your way. So, what is the best way to evade such a torpedo? Now, you may think the best course of action would be to turn tail, turn tail and run here. You'd think that, that, could, that could be the best course of action. I know I did for the longest time. But this is analogous to being stuck on... This is analogous to walking on a train track, hearing a train coming, and then just running away from the train on the train track. When you can simply step off of, this, of the train track and get out of the way. So the best cor course of action here is actually the sidestep. Now, our, our guy was already kind of going this way, so I'm going to do, we're going to do a sidestep to this direction here. So we're going to sidestep this way, and the best part about this is that you don't even need to do it at full speed, really, the sidestep. All you're trying to do is get outside. All you're trying to do is really get outside this seeker cone, so by the time this torp gets up this way... And I drew this so, uh, easier way to draw it, so I just shifted this guy down this way to show this had gotten closer. By the time the torpedo gets closer to you here, you're already out of its search cone, so it can't find you. And this can be aided by dropping off a nice active countermeasure for it there. So what do you want to do here is the sidestep. Now what we have in addition to the sidestep here is the rule of sixes that can help you figure out a good way to get out of the way of the torpedo without making too much noise. So the rule of sixes here is this as follows. Let's say instead of running at flank, say we're in a 688i, and instead of running at 32 knots at flank to evade this torpedo, let's say we're just going to run at standard 15 knots. So the rule of sixes says take this speed, multiply by two, and then add two zeros to the end of this. And in six minutes, this is how far you'll go. This is very accurate. This, may, this real number in actuality may be like 3,010 yards. It's really accurate. And this is 1.5 nautical miles. Side note, when writing nautical miles, make sure to do NMI and not NM. NM is nanometers, so do, do NMI, that's nautical miles. So if you wanted to sidestep this torpedo, provided you had a good idea of how far away it was coming from, you could uh, do something like this. In six minutes, you could get 3,000 yards away. Uh, your typical torpedo is probably going to be coming from five to 10,000 yards. Excuse me, not five to 10,000 yards. Typical torpedo is probably coming from like 10,000 to 15,000 yards. So if you run at 15 knots, maybe 20 to sidestep a torp, you can get outside of that cone really good. Obviously, it's going to depend on how far you can tell the torpedo is away. And you're going to have to use your intuition, signal strength, bearing rate, all that kind of stuff. Um, but starting out, it may just be a good idea to flank. Even if you do flank it, all you got to do is just get out of, out of the way real quick. Run for three or five minutes at flank. And then you can can your engines and you're out of the way. Good position. Instead of trying to, you know... Do it the hard way, like, don't don't be chased by a train down the tracks. Just step off the tracks. 
another shorthand for this rule of sixes is basically just multiply your speed by 2,000, and then you get yards. 200, excuse me. Thank you.